Baccuccio? Bac I don't know. Baccuccio, B-A-K-U-C-H-I-O-L. I don't want to read it anymore. I'm going to start over. Hi, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Rebecca and I am going to be doing two videos, a part one and part two. First part is going to be my skincare routine at night and the second one is going to be a makeup video. I just counted and my nighttime skincare routine is roughly 18 steps. You could probably scale that down if you categorize the steps. I'm gonna go ahead and start my skincare routine and just discuss the products that I'm using as I'm using them. The first product that I'm gonna be using is the Caudalie Toner. I just use one pump in my hand if I'm not using one of those reusable cotton pads. James Welsh mentioned that Every skincare product that you use, you should put not only on your face, but also on your neck and your chest decollage area. And whatever you get on your lips is fine because your lips are your skin. Another James Welsh pro tip is to put products on your face while it's still damp. And I tend to rush through this process incredibly quickly so that the toner and the essence that I'm about to use keep my face nice and damp, and I'm able to go through each product with damper skin than if I were to wait a little bit between the products. The second product that I'm gonna be using is the Hyaluron Skin Essence. I use about the same amount as the toner, just a little bit, about quarter size in my hand. The one step that I am omitting from this is the micellar water, because I don't have any makeup on my face, but normally I would use micellar water and then start my skincare routine. The micellar water that I'm using right now is Micellar Magic by Tarte. Now that I'm done with the toner and essence part of my skincare routine, I'm gonna go into the serums, of which I have six. I had seven, but one of them broke recently. I had them all in a bag, very carefully put together so that they were protected. They were on the couch, very soft and unstable, so I should have known better. They just fell right off. And the only one that broke, and I'm thankful it's the only one, was the Earth Harbor Helios Serum, which is the anti-pollution serum, which I use twice a day. And I'm very heartbroken that it is broken. But alas, I've got six more serums. One of them I have not even used yet. It'll be the first time tonight that I'm using this. So we've got more, I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. The first of the serums that I'll be using is Too Faced's Hangover RX Good in Bed. This is a hydrating serum. It's got hyaluronic acid, coconut water, dragon fruit, and vitamin B5. All good things. I just use one pump and that will get all over my face and be just enough. Since I do use so many serums, I don't use that much product. I use just a pump of each one. And that's it. The next serum that I'm gonna be using is Earth Harbor's Luna Lay, which is now just called Luna, I think. It's a resurfacing serum. And as you can tell, I am just about out. I use this all the time. And I use more of this than any of the other products as far as volume. I use like a whole dropper full, which I'm not sure, well, let's just say maybe half. So I use about half a dropper full. I don't know if that is too much or not enough. It is one of the more watery consistency serums and it's one of the other steps i use to keep my face feel feeling hydrated and damp to help the other products go on better one thing that i've been meaning to find out is which one of these products is a chemical exfoliator something that happens to my skin if i do not do my skincare routine every morning or night. If I skip a day or two, my face will start peeling. The skin will just start rolling off like pill on your sweater. It's gross. It is hard to get all of it off your face without just washing it all over again. I've heard two other beauty contenters beauty content creators say the same thing and it sounds like they're not really sure what's causing it either. It sounds like it is a chemical exfoliant and I don't know which product it is. So if I find out, I will put it in here. Most of the products that I'm using 
came in subscription boxes. There are a couple of these that I went out and just bought on my own. One of them was the toner because I didn't have a toner. Another one was the micellar water because I didn't have micellar water. But for the most part, most of the products that I have came in subscription boxes that I didn't know were coming. So these are all fresh products that I had never seen before that I'm incorporating into my skincare routine and thus building upon and upon and upon it. <laughs> These three products did not come in any subscription box. I sought out Naturium because I had heard James Welsh, which is my skincare guru guy, I watch all of his videos. Also the brother of Robert Welsh, who I saw first, he's the makeup guru of the two. They're twins, they're amazing, the Welsh twins. James Welsh talked about Susan Yara as the skincare guru. And so I looked Susan Yara up and found out that she is the co-founder of this brand called Naturium. And I watched some of her videos. I read a little bit about her. I read a little bit about Naturium and mixed skincare, I think. Mixed skin, mixed makeup. It's mixed something. And decided that I absolutely had to try some of their products. And at the time they were having a 20% off winter sale. So I went ahead and got three different things. The first product that I chose was the Niacinamide Serum 12% plus Zinc 2% because James Welsh talks about niacinamide all the time. I just wanted to try it to see what niacinamide would do for my skin. And to be honest, I don't remember what it does. So let's just read it. <laughs> Our concentrated serum is formulated with pure 12% niacinamide and 2% zinc PCA that help improve uneven skin tone and visually minimize the look of pores, skin texture, and fine lines. All of which I need, all of which are great. Now that I'm thinking about it, the niacinamide or zinc might be the chemical exfoliant. I will look it up. I don't ever shake any of my other products. Not sure if I should. But this one on the packaging, as well as the other bottle like this, say to shake it up every time you use it, so I do. And like the other serums, I just use one pump. And this is kind of a big pump. It's a lot of product that just came out. And I know what it looks like, so... I should call him. Let's just get over that. These two products from Naturium specifically say to not put near the eyes. The other serums I may put near the eyes or on the eyes, like the hyaluronic ones, but these products I try to remember to keep away from my eyeballs. The second Naturium product that I picked out was the Retinol Complex Serum. I've been hearing about retinol forever. It is one of those products for aging skin and that's all I can remember about it. So let's read this bottle too. Our advanced serum is formulated with a photostable synergistic blend of encapsulated retinol a natural bioretinol and bacuchiol. I don't know how to pronounce this word. A plant derived retinol alternative that helps improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, elasticity, and uneven tone while also promoting overall radiance. Sounds beautiful. So yeah, of course, I'm gonna wanna use this. Again, just a pump. I don't, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about this also. It's so obvious. I have one serum left that I use regularly on my face. The other one is a new serum that I have not tried yet. It is a snow mushroom water serum by Volition. So I'm gonna try this first. I'm assuming it is a watery serum not just because it says water but it looks a little watery in here which is great i love watery serums and the last one i'm going to use is definitely oily so i'm going to do this one first the volition snow mushroom water serum i mentioned in the unboxing of boxy charm that came the harvest box that i'm not a big fan of tops like these I mean, they're great, they're easy. You push them, the product comes up. But if you can see inside there, it is just the pipette that is glued into this cap. So it is not a single piece. There are two pieces, the pipette that's glued in here, this plastic, and if you screw it on too tightly, that glue that is keeping the pipette in there will get loose, I guess. This plastic part will just pop right off. My caution to you all is if you have anything like this, just screw it on until it's 
closed. Don't screw it on so tightly that the glue will loosen up. So since I haven't tried this before, I'm just going to push everything out. And everything just came out. This has a really, really wonderful texture to it. I feel like some people will probably call it slimy. It doesn't matter. Slimy products, ooh, it's a smell that you will have to get used to also. So the texture and the smell will take some getting used to. It feels more on the slimier side, which if you're sensitive to textures may gross you out. It's probably really fantastic for your skin. And the smell probably smells like the water mushroom itself. It's a very earthy, it's a very earthy tone, but that's great. That just means that they didn't add any fragrance to it. And it feels like it absorbed right into my skin. Like skin does absolutely feel tacky, which isn't necessarily bad, especially since I'm gonna be putting makeup on later. If I were to end with this step, I'd be thrilled because my skin's tacky, makeup will go on it better. You can apply this twice a day, which may be better in the morning or whenever you're about to put on makeup and then just end there. Put that on, put your spray on that you're gonna use before you put makeup on. And then I have a feeling that all your makeup will be applied a lot better. I am done with the face part, the first face part. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the eyes, which I will start with a serum. This corrective eye serum by Lifestyle. Lifestyle with a Y. I'm pretty sure that this is a color correcting serum. Literally the only reason why I use this because I haven't seen any giant results is because it has a roller ball. That feels so good going on your under eye area. Anything that's metal will get cold and anything cold feels fantastic on the skin. I didn't use this product for a long time because right when I had opened it, the roller ball just wouldn't move. I suppose it's because there wasn't enough product on the ball to get it oiled up and rolling. I started using it more and more just to try to give it a chance and it eventually oiled itself up and is perfectly fine to use and feels really good. Quick word of advice, if you are going to put any kind of oil product on your eye, under your eye, anything that is near your lash line, and you wear contact lenses, take your contacts out first because it just gets messy, your contacts get blurry, it's going to get in your eyes. So I would advise to take those suckers out before you put the oil anywhere near them. The second product that I'm going to use is another Earth Harbor product, Aqua Aura. This is a restorative eye cream. I guess it is technically a cream. It feels more like a seaweed jelly. It feels fantastic going on the under eyes. It is like the roller ball, nice and cold going on. It doesn't stay cold for very long. It warms up as you're applying it, but it feels really good going on and the texture of it feels really, really good on the eye area. If you don't already know, use your ring finger to put any product on your eye because your ring finger is the weakest in your hand. So it's going to apply the least amount of pressure, which will make it harder to pull the skin which will then make it harder for your skin to create more fine lines than there already are. The next eye product I'm gonna use is the Dermalect Revitalite Eyelid and Dark Circle Corrector. I noticed that there's a hair on that, which shouldn't be a surprise to anyone because you know I have dogs. Anything that is for dark eyelid or circle corrector, I'm gonna to wanna to try because I have had dark under eye circles my entire life, even as a child. I'm sure as a child, I looked like a tiny little insomniac. It is mostly because of the Ohio Valley allergies that I have suffered forever. Thanks to the Ohio Valley allergens, my eyes have always looked like a very, very tired 40 year old mother. I'm not knocking 40 year olds, I'm almost there. The last eye product that I'm gonna use is another Naturian product the multi-peptide eye cream. There's nothing on this, and I can't remember exactly what multi-peptide eye creams do, but it's gotta be good. This is one of those products that feels expensive. It's not that expensive, it's kind of middle of the road price range, but it feels like it has really amazing ingredients in it. The consistency is great. It's incredibly thick. 
incredibly thick. And it feels really nice going on. Okay, we are done with the serums on the face, the eye products. The one thing that I am not going to be using right now that is a nighttime eye product is this. The Seralume by Babe Lash Eyelash and Brow Serum. Not using right now because I'm gonna be putting makeup on. I actually forgot a serum. I forgot the last serum that I was gonna use, the oilier one, which is fine. It is the Brightening Serum by Way of Will. That one right there. This is a pretty oily consistency. I try to only use about four drops. I just put them on, this is just what I do. I put them on my middle finger, one, two, three, four, and kind of just tap on that product. I could probably just put it in the middle of my hand. That would make it a little easier. But just tap it with my middle finger and then go into the different regions of my face and then try to spread it from there. It's just a little hard to spread. So I try to start in the four, well, five regions. My face is doing the thing I was just talking about. My face is peeling right now. So obviously it's one of the products that I had just used. I don't know which one, but one of these products is a chemical exfoliant and my skin is peeling. I don't really wanna show you cause it's kind of gross, but I'm going to. That just came off my face. Maybe it's this thing. Maybe that's the product. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, why? It just keeps happening. It keeps happening. Look at all that skin that just came off my face. I'm not mad at chemical exfoliants. I just wish, wish I knew which one. Which one. Because whichever one it is, it's not advertising as one. And I feel like if you know that one of the ingredients in your product is a chemical exfoliant or could be, it should be on the packaging. You should let people know. By the way, your skin might slough off your face rather than it be a surprise. Okay, now that my face has completely regenerated in just a matter of minutes, I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. I'm using the IT Secret Sauce, and if you know why Manny MUA makes fun of it, please tell me. Because I don't know. I don't know anything about this brand. It was recommended to me by the guy who was working at Sephora, and so I bought it. It smells really good. And it feels really good. Is there something weird about this brand that I don't know about? I haven't really dived in to do any kind of research on this brand. I typically do a little bit of research on the brands that I get in my sub boxes, just so I know what I'm using. But since this Sephora guy was like, oh no, this is what you need. I was like, okay, sure, fine, I'll buy it. And I didn't go into any kind of deep dive of a research on It Cosmetics, so I, I don't know. There's one last thing that I do during my nighttime routine, and that is to oil up my face with a nice face oil. But I'm not gonna do that, again, because I'm about to put makeup on. But this is what I would normally do at the end of the night. I've been using Skin Co's Truffle Therapy Face Oil. You know what I was talking about with this cap right here and how I've had experience with how it just popped right off. It was on this bottle. <laughs> this is the exact bottle that had that fun little push cap. I picked it up one day from the cap, which you should probably never do, and it just slid right out. <laughs> it didn't break though, so good job, glass. The things I didn't do that I typically do at night. I didn't do the lash serum. I didn't do the face oil after my moisturizer. I also didn't do this Revive Light Therapy, which is gonna be the first thing I do after I wash my face. So I would do the micellar water, wash my face. And by the way, what I'm using to wash my face right now is the Skin Co Whipped cleanser. I can't remember. I should have brought it with me, but it's in a white tube thing. I love that. It's a cream cleanser. It's great if you have no makeup left on your skin. If you use a micellar water and you've got no makeup left, that cream whipped cleanser is great. If you do have makeup on your skin after the micellar water, or if you just don't want to be bothered with the micellar water, I've been using the Pacifica kombucha something or other 
face wash. It does leave your skin a little squeaky, which is not great, but then you're gonna go in with all these face products anyway, so you're fine. The reason why I skipped this thing is I wasn't gonna film it anyway, but it takes about 25 minutes for me to use this. So I really only use this when I have absolutely nothing to do. I just wanna burn time. I mean, it takes like an hour a day to do this. I just really didn't feel like doing it right now. And you're limited in what you're gonna do when you're using it because you're using one hand to press on whatever area and so you can only use one other hand. So it's a little bit inconvenient. You really, really have to dedicate time to using this thing. You press it and it produces this red light that penetrates your skin, I suppose. I can't remember if it improves elasticity or reduces fine lines and wrinkles. It probably does all of that. I can't believe I forgot these things. These guys. I've got hair on everything. So this thing is a PMD face cleanser, massager. It's a thing that vibrates. Two sides. This side with bristles helps clean your face better. Circular motions and massages your face. It gets more crap out of your pores. This other side, this ribbed side. <laughs> my mind, my mind, my mind. Anyway, this side over here is good for helping, what did it say, what do they say? I'm pretty sure they said that modes one and two, which are, and, are good for cleaning the face, cleansing your face, getting the stuff out of your pores. And the second two modes, this one, and that one, are better for this other side, getting those serums in or those, your moisturizer in. And I think they said something about how that improves collagen protection, maybe? It's possible. I can't remember. But this thing, I know it came in something. I did not order this. I also didn't order that. This came in one of my boxes a while ago. I avoided using this for so long because I didn't really know how to use it comfortably. It doesn't feel that great with these edges and with those knobs. I guess it's supposed to massage the skin. It's fine on the cheeks. It doesn't bother my cheeks, but once you get up here, it doesn't feel good at all. And just the other day, I started using this side on my bonier parts. This feels great. Oh. I mean, and the nose is super sensitive. Bony ass nose. This is not gonna be great on your nose, your forehead, or your temple. So I've been using the handle on my nose and my bony places. And it feels really good. It feels really good because it is metal and it is cold. And it probably will be really great under your eyes. I don't think I tried that before. And it does. So fleshier parts, that's fine. Bonier parts, use the handle, whatever. I also just go straight over my mouth. Feels good. I really just do it because of the temperature. It's so cold. Okay, that's enough. So that's it. That's my skincare routine. It feels like a lot. I'm not sure if I should scale down or if I should stick with all these products because there are so many products out there. There are so many. And there are so many that I feel like apply to my skin type. So I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to keep adding and adding and adding more and more and more products because this feels like a lot already. I feel comfortable just sticking with this. If I were to take any of them out, it probably would be the new one because I can't remember what it's for. A lot of these products, the ingredients probably overlap. They probably overlap in what they actually do. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna phase any of these out, but aside from the skin peeling thing, which is really annoying, it is confusing, I don't like it. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with everything here. I think if I, when? When I find out which product is doing the chemical exfoliation, I will bring that to the top of my skincare routine, probably after the toner and essence, 
go ahead and get that shit off my face. Let it go ahead, exfoliate my skin, roll on out, fine. We'll go ahead and get that dead skin off. And then I can go in with all of my other skincare products on fresh skin. So we'll see. Is your skincare routine different? Do you have combination skin like me? If you do, what products do you use? Do you have fine lines and wrinkles like I do? Then what products do you use? I am interested in finding out. What do you love? What do you hate? What's been mediocre? Especially if you use the same products that I just showed you. Do you use them differently? Let's start in the comments. Let me know. Let's strike up a conversation. But I am now going to be on to part two of this video, the makeup part which will be inspired by the trip I just got back from, which feels like I never even went on at all. It feels like the dream that you wake up from and you're like, oh. <laughs> that was such, like you're really awakened. And you're just like, man, that was such a good dream. I wish I could fall asleep and get right back into that dream. And then of course, either you can't fall asleep or if you do, you're just, you're not gonna jump right back into that dream. That's what it feels like. Great vacation, feels like a dream, like it never even happened. And it's like fading like a dream too. I literally just got back yesterday. But this makeup look is gonna be inspired by my time out in the cabin in like rural, forest, mountainy Kentucky. <laughs> so maybe I'll see you there. Bye. Ooh. Okay. Yes, it is. Fucking hell. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I almost said that right. Fuck, I have to do it again. Just fucking do it. What? What is this? What is this? Oh, stop it. <laughs>